So this is the charger, so we need to put this like, level it kind of here. And then there's some brake lines and stuff under there we don't want to smash. But then there's some mounting points, like you see that bolt there? There's one there, one there. So they're all around. And I'm thinking we'd use a little piece of strap steel and then we can bend it and then just weld it to the frame, into the body. What do you have from steel? Um, I'll bring it over, but... And then these are the high voltage wires that are gonna come out here. High voltage! And these are the plugs for charging. And I wanna pull those up and have them come out the grill in front somewhere. Or maybe here underneath. But just don't break my windshield. Tell me on my life. <laughs> but just like mimic the original Nissan Leaf where the charging is at the front and plug in. I think we just get some zip ties and just, <laughs> just hang out there like that. It looks great. Yeah. Yeah, right? A couple of wrenchy straps, call it these. So that's job number one, because you can see over here the power steering and all the other stuff we don't we smash. need to take it out so we can do measurements. And yeah, so I'm thinking we use the crane. We get some straps so we can just lift this thing up and down and yeah. get some stuff. The second job is this is the inverter. So this runs the motor. Uh, these three are the three phase high voltage that are going to go to the motor. Oh, up here, down, fuck. Oh, no. It's all right, dude. It's a sacrifice to the bought, electric I bought the gear, 24 pack. So we're just going to put some like one knot on there with some lugs to run to the motor. And then this is the input for the battery voltage. So this, I think, will live like that. All right, so the next day, we moved the Land Cruiser from its spot here, over there, closer to the welder. So we're gonna weld the tabs on and mount the inverter in the charger today. We're gonna get that done. We got the charger here on the crane. So we're gonna take this guy over so we can hoist it over the spot uh, so we can get it all perfect. Yeah, it does. That looks pretty good, bro. And then that will plate and it'll come up a little bit. I think it's like, perfect. let's get this screw in. Yeah. Dude, this is easy. Yeah, can See? we just come pretty much straight off? So there's two holes here that we can take off. Chop the corner off. And yeah, and then they'll lay up against the body there. And maybe just on the other side of the steering box, we'll make a leg up to support it. Yeah. Or even right here. I'd say farther down, the better. You yeah. Know? I mean, that's true. This thing isn't crazy heavy, but yeah. Yeah, but if you're wheeling and stuff, that's still like, point. you it's know, this that. thing's 100 pounds bouncing around, right? So yeah. you want it to be strong. But we also don't want it to just beat the ever-living shit out of the fender. Right. Much better. You want to give me my pen? Yeah. This corner off right here. Then we'll sit up against the fender. Okay. Hang out. I'll cut it off.
prick, man. Keep it sketchy. Well, I'm gonna need the uh, welding helmet. As soon as I get this in. That's stuck on. So let's unbolt it and swing it out. From the well, it's not. I think we need a fourth post over here off that radiator mount. Yeah, I think so. I was cutting a piece of angle, but it might be this piece. <laughs> so I think it's a. Uh, I think if we do something similar to this other corner that we made, where if we do a piece of angle vertically and yep. then just make two flat That's spots. That's exactly top and what I was thinking. Sweet. Work, dude. Let's do it. Don't film those welds. All right, so we got the inverter. With the charger and the inverter mounts knocked out. Uh, we really came together. Dom did an awesome job. I'll show you a little bit about how the mounts turned out. So this is just a bit, a bit of steel strap that's been bent. And then has some bolts. It's welded on and the same on the rear. And so that's really sturdy. It's not going anywhere, but it's not as heavy as the charger. So the charger has even beefier mounts. So down here. That mounts to the stock radiator and I decided the stock radiator is too big for this. So we're not gonna use it. And I'm gonna get a smaller radiator. Then also we've got this mount that goes down to the frame there. Back to the fender. And then we've got another mount here with another piece of angle. And then through the fender there. And I'm gonna reinforce that with a little bit of plate. I haven't done that yet. So that is solid. It's definitely not going anywhere. It's not even fully bolted down right now. Uh, but like when we're off-roading, we're gonna be bouncing all over the, all sorts of terrain. So it's gotta be really stiff and we don't want it to pull through the sheet metal, the, the body of the truck. So we really had plenty of surface area there. Um, so now what I'm gonna do is since the mounts are complete, I'll pull the electronics out. I'll finish some of the welding and then we'll clean it up and put a coat of paint on it. All right, so I just got the all the mounts fi finished welded, cleaned them up, and threw a coat of paint on there. Uh, so that's drying. I'll let that dry probably overnight, and then we'll put the parts in for real. We'll mount them up, and then uh, start doing the wiring to the Resolve VCU so that we can jump, get a jump start so that when my drive shaft's ready, uh, we can you know go ahead and, and keep moving down the road. So that's next on the list wiring okay the paint has dried and today i'm going to install my inverter 
and my charger, and then we're gonna start wiring everything up. Also, big news, I dropped off my input shaft for my transfer case and my output shaft for my motor. Dropped those off at Inglewood drive shaft. Bill thinks he can set me up. He thinks he can build a custom drive shaft that's going to work for me. So uh, I'm hoping to hear back from him here in the next couple of days, and hopefully he'll have a solution, and then I'll tell him yes or no, and then boom, hopefully we'll get a drive shaft. Once I get a drive shaft, we can mount the motor. Can't mount it until I get my drive shaft because uh, the ultimate length of that drive shaft is gonna be up to Bill and what he thinks is best. I have about six to 10 inches to play with, so somewhere in there, that's what she said, right? Okay, so we're gonna install the charger and the inverter. Let's do it. Awesome. Oh yeah. Oh, that's not going nowhere. Okay, that's where they're gonna live. So now I'm gonna start doing all the wiring. Um, probably gonna start by wiring the charge plugs up here behind the grill. I need to figure out what I'm gonna do about my 12 volt accessory battery. I could just use a little small like motorcycle battery. I could use a big bulky battery. I could use like a lithium iron battery. Uh, I could use really anything. But I think what I'm gonna use is I have an Optima yellow top over on the shelf that I got. I think I'll use that because I really wanna put a winch on this truck. So I need something that's gonna be able to handle a winch and a small motorcycle battery or a life battery is not gonna do that. So I'm gonna figure out where I'm gonna put that. I think it's gonna to wanna to live over here on the passenger side. Uh, the chargers are, are about twice as heavy as the inverter and that's on the driver's side. So I think what I wanna do is counterbalance that and put the heavy battery over on this side. And then the main battery pack, of course, is gonna be at the center line, uh, but that'll just hopefully help my weight distribution a little bit better. Yeah, so that's my next project is uh, wiring and the 12 volt system. So let's get stuck in. So we're at the front of the vehicle and this is the stock grill. And basically what I wanna do is mimic the Nissan Leaf and put the charge ports uh, behind the grill somehow. So I've got both those charge ports ran down through here. I had to disassemble these plugs. It was really complicated and boring, um, but I had to disassemble those to feed them through. I have them reassembled and now I'm gonna try to feed them up to the spot behind the grill. So. So I'm thinking I'll have them kind of at an angle like that. As close to uh, horizontal as possible, but um, the Chatama one I've got very limited cable. So that's about as steep of an angle I can put it at. So that's what I'm working on. Uh, but I, the idea is that it's just like the Nissan Leaf. You just nose in to the charger and, and plug in. So I'm gonna reinforce these with some steel, make some brackets, cause it's gotta take the full force of the plug and that, especially the Chatamo plug is really heavy. It's like a huge, heavy plug and the cable is really heavy too. So it puts a, like a lot of force on it. So you can see this one already has like a steel bracket to reinforce it. So I'm gonna tie into that and we will mount these ports. All right, so here's what I came up with. I got the chargers, the plugs here behind the grill, just like in the Nissan Leaf. Uh, I got them oriented, so up is up. So when you plug in, it's not upside down. Um, I've got some nice secure braces. So these guys are really secure especially the Chatamo, because remember, 
Uh, the Chatamo plug is a really big, heavy duty plug, so those need to be very secure. Right now, it's just all tack welded. You can see the tacks. I will wait on this to finish weld it, probably until uh, quite a bit further down the road because I still need to fit some transmission coolers and radiators and things. And uh, you know, this is, this is just like I'm cutting my own path. Uh, this is totally uncharted territory. So this may need to move in the future. So I'm not gonna make a, it super hard to get off if I need to move it. Hopefully it'll stay there because I really like that. Being on the front, on the driver's side, so you can pull up, you know, kind of like a gas pumps on the driver's side is the most useful. You always know where it is. You always knows into the charger so you can always get a plug to reach it. So I'm really happy with this. Uh, we'll also have to fit a radiator for the, the uh, motor, the inverter and the charger. They have like a cooling system. And then I'm gonna have a separate oil cooler for the transfer case doubler, the black box, because we need to keep that cool. So all that's gotta fit up here also. And this is the factory location for the factory oil or a transmission oil cooler. I think it, I can fit it over here, no problem. But this is where the brackets want to go. So just things like that. That's why I haven't finished welded it yet, but I'm really happy with it. So check that one off the box or off the list and we're going to move on down the road, uh, wiring and doing everything else. This is really cool to see my vision starting to come together. All right, we'll get on with it.